Hi friends, welcome back to my Sims 4 Big Brother Horror Series. I hope you're all doing well, better than Freddy, I should say. Uh, I don't know why our little, our little man is feeling hurt, but time might heal Freddy's pain, but it still hurts for now. I don't know what that's all about, but here we are picking up right where we left off. Uh, I need to get them out of their gym clothes because they look ridiculous. We, surprisingly, have our new HOH, but it's not her first time being head of household for the first time in this series. <laughs> she is HOH for the second time. I genuinely was surprised by that. I thought that for sure, uh, I, was, I was banking on Jason because... Like I said in the last episode, he had, I think, the highest fitness skill out of everyone. Like, Kayako's is one, one, three, one, two, okay, Pennywise, and one. Like, there's no reason that Jason shouldn't have lasted longer, and he definitely was out first. So, Kayako as she was overheating, running with no shoes on, she was able to outlast everyone and is our HOH this week. So I was hoping for a new head of household, but she will, she will be okay. And I know people are rooting for her. So people will be happy to know that she is safe for at least another week in this game. <laughs> Ooh, I, oh. Are you guys using the new thing? So I did purchase something that maybe has something to do with the veto competition, but I won't say anything else. But I thought I'd leave it out there for them. And yeah, there's only six house guests, but look at them socializing. There you go, Freddy with his two. Just one second, I gotta change them. <laughs> there we go, much better. Yeah, I am uh, interested to see who Kayako is going to target this week. Unless, like, something crazy has happened between these two gals, I would be shocked if she put Annabelle up. But you never know. Just because in, like, week one they were close does not mean that they are in, like, a super alliance. It would be cool to see the girls work together because uh, I would like to see both of them stay around, but... I can't control what they do in this game. Good job, oh, Pennywise. What are you scared of? Fear of pool deniers conveniently ignore the everyday horrors of pool experiences. Chlorine overflowing gutters, unnatural shades of cyan. I don't know what that is. Did I even say that right? And worst of all, hey, hey, hey. And worst of all, stepping on floaty, soggy, Bandages. Sorry, bud. <sighs> no, I'm not going to make him use it because I didn't see him do it. But if anyone was going to prank my toilets, I feel like it's this guy. So in The Sims morning, we will have Kayako do her nominations. And then sometime during the day, I'm going to do our veto competition, which has to be outdoors and does involve water. So I might have to change the weather so that they don't freeze to death, but we'll see. Oh, Freddy, gotta change you. 
But look at Jason working on that HOH. Smarty smart. Like, he is... Robot. He is playing a really, really interesting game. Because he was a super loner. And then... Good for you, Freddy. And now he's getting a little... A little better. He's working on those relationships. He gets it. Maybe that was his strategy the whole time. To not seem like a threat. Where are you going? Ooh, he's going to go swimming. Okay, ghost face is working. Where Pennywise go? <laughs> did you make that? No, ghost face did. Yeah, everyone, for the most part, gets along in this cast. For a, for a bunch of villains who are a lot of evil people, they're sure, uh... Okay. This is the Jason we know. Why is he blue? He's feeling sad. Shmoo, shmoo, shmoo. Sometimes wild, mad thoughts enter one's head. This is one of those times. I get that. Oh, he's a gloomy boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, and now he's... Yeah, things aren't going well for our buddy Jason. She is going to become... Oh, God. Pennywise. What did you do? She is going to become possessed soon. If we're sticking to the 1 a.m. thing. But it's good that people are getting these conversations in because I don't think you can really talk to her when she is, um, when she's gone to the other side. <sighs> I wonder who hurt Freddy. Who do you think Kayako is going to put up? I... She might do Freddy. She maybe will do... I don't see her and Pennywise talking a lot together. So maybe... Maybe Pennywise is going up on the block. I mean, I did just see Jason and Ghostface now. But I don't know if that's been consistently. And, you know, maybe it could have even been Annabelle. Who knows? Oh, Freddy, please, please be careful. Oh, yep. Here she is. The mother calls and I must respond. Oh, good. God. Oh, you swim around sadly? Jason. Oh, ghost face. Swimming made Jason happy. Interesting. Does he not remember what happened when he went swimming as a child? <laughs> Just go right through Pennywise. Oh, he's creepy. Speaking of creepy. <laughs> oh, Freddy. Are you nervous about nominations? You think you're going to go up? Annabelle, you're becoming very predictable. Hate to break it to you. Oh, look at these swimming friends. Look at them go. I really can't wait for nominations because I seriously have no idea. Oh, she's back to normal. It's interesting though, when she gets possessed though, all of her needs go fully green. Or maybe two Kayako's needs... Is she always full energy? I'll keep an eye on it. I've noticed it when she gets possessed. Uh-oh, what happened to Ghostface? He got splashed. Good job, Annabelle. <laughs> Ghostface's little legs. Who are you gonna put up? Who are you gonna put up? Hmm? 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 Are your needs going down? I don't know if her needs ever go down. Their needs do. Interesting. Very interesting. But I have yet to actually know what she is. 
like if she's a vampire or no she's not a vampire i don't know what kayako is i don't know how they got the little floaty black smoke under her i don't get it but i don't think maybe she's just a ghost because she clearly doesn't need anything all right get those convert talking about peeing your pants get those conversations in yo it's almost nomination time you feel better you sense your friend was up there so you're gonna go up there now Ghost faces, little legs. All right, I will give them just a little bit longer and then we are going to have a nomination ceremony. So, house guests, get your last little conversations, deals, alliances in now before it's too late. <laughs> right, Pennywise? Talk to her. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Ghost face. You're getting much better at juice on the rocks. Oh, good. Pennywise is playful. Uh-oh. Argue about politics? Right before nomination ceremony? How come every time I acknowledge they're about to do an evil interaction, they cancel it out? Hmm? All right, team. I think you've all had enough. Let's head to the living room because we got a big day ahead of us and let's have our nomination ceremony. Okay, welcome to the nomination ceremony. Kayako as HOH, one of your duties is to put up two house guests for eviction this week. There aren't very many people who can go up on the block, but Kayako's decision was made pretty easily. So Kayako, please put up your first nomination. Ghostface, you have been put up for a nomination because Kayako feels that you are a huge threat in this game. You have won competitions and have come close to winning quite a few already. And as we get further along, keeping someone like you is really dangerous to her game. So that is why you have been put up on the block. Kayako, please put up your second nominee. Freddy, you have been put up on the block because out of all of the relationships Kayako has started to make in this game, you are on the lower end. She doesn't really feel any sort of allegiance to you and knows that you are a strong social player and she would be fine with you leaving this week as well. So with that, that is the end of our nomination ceremony. And we don't actually have to spin the wheel to pick players for the veto comp because there are only six house guests left, so they will all be competing in the veto later on today. So I will let them do their own thing for a couple hours and then we'll move on to the veto ceremony. Nope, not ceremony. The veto competition. Yeah, Ghostface, you go punch. Go punch the unicorn to take out your frustrations. So that is that. We have our two nominees for the week. Will they stay the same or will the power of veto be used to take off one of the nominees? Hmm? Hmm? It was very interesting looking at Kayako's relationships because there is a top contender and that is Jason. Her and Jason are getting quite close because Jason's number one right now is Kayako too. It was last week it was Michael and then Kayako but because Michael is now gone Kayako why is there a puddle? What happened on the ground? Yeah now it's just Kayako so that was an interesting little duo I was not expecting and yeah I'm not that surprised that she put up Freddy. Ghostface I was I was kind of like, it could be Ghostface, it could be Annabelle, it could be Pennywise even, except Pennywise and her also kind of have a pretty good relationship, but you never know in this game. Now she's working on the HOH because they don't have as strong of a relationship. It's actually gone down since week one. All right, strategizing like, hey, use the veto on me, Pennywise, if you get it. And Freddy's like, hey, use it on me. I'm so curious what's gonna happen. Who are you missing? Oh, 
Why'd you change into your outdoor clothes? So I will let them do this for a couple more sim hours and then I do want to get to the veto comp because it could take a bit of time to do. So I would just like to get a head start on it. And they've had plenty of time to socialize and strategize. We like the competitions. Looking at the relationships without giving too much away. It looks like the veto has a very good chance of being used, depending on who wins it. But even if it's not just Freddy or Ghostface that wins it, I could see it being used today. Which would... What an upset that would be. We haven't seen yet i mean it is only week three but it feels like so much more time has passed but we haven't seen the veto being used on someone that wasn't like ghostface used it on himself last week to save himself off the block but we haven't seen someone who wasn't nominated use it to save an, a nominee so that could be exciting you're still hurt who hurt you they've had their time we're gonna go out to the backyard and do our veto competition. Okay, welcome to the veto competition. This competition is going to be a simple diving one. And how it works is one at a time, each of the house guests will come up and perform the same dive. Now, if it is a successful dive, you will be able to tell because they perform it well. If they belly flop at any point, that is a failed dive. Now, at the end of the round, the people with the lowest score, so let's say, for example, that everyone succeeded at the dive except for Ghostface. Then Ghostface is eliminated, and we move on to the next round where they perform a new dive. And at the end of that one, let's say everyone gets it right except for Jason and Annabelle. Then they would be eliminated, and so on. And then we just keep going until we have someone be the only one that was successful at diving. I hope that makes sense. You'll see it as we go on, but I have randomly selected the order that we are going in and Jason is going first. So Jason is going to do a swan dive. And if he's, if he's successful, he gets the point. If he's not, he's gotta hope that everyone failed. Oh. That is a big old belly flop, which means that Jason was not successful. So Jason has a score of zero. Now it's Ghostface's turn. Same swan dive. Let's see if he can do better. He exactly nailed it. That is a swan dive. So Ghostface has a point and will be advancing to the next round. Kayako is next with her swan dive. Mm, it's gonna be a belly flop. Oh, I'm sorry, Kayako. That is not gonna be good enough to advance to the next round. What if they all fail and Ghostface just won it? Freddy is up next. Gonna do his swan dive. Come on, Freddy, make it a little bit challenging for Ghostface. Perfect. Absolutely. He nailed it. So Freddy is moving on to the next round. Pennywise is next. Come on, Pennywise. Oh, absolutely. Pennywise will be moving on to the next round. And last but not least, we have Annabelle. And she has done it. So in summary, everyone is moving on except for Jason and Kayako. So I will send them to the living room. And then the four are going to compete for the power of Edo. All right. Between Ghostface, Freddy, Pennywise, and Annabelle, one of them will win the power of Edo. So Ghostface is going to attempt a backflip. Oh no! Ghostface! Ooh, That is zero points. I don't think you're gonna move on, buddy. Unless they all get zero. Freddy, 
No, get out of... What are you... Okay, Freddy is going to attempt the backflip as well. Not looking good for our buddy ghost face. Oh no, Freddy! You have to turn backwards! Oh! Freddy has also failed. Okay, Pennywise, you just have to do a backflip. Come on, turn around. Oh no. <laughs> okay, Pennywise has also failed. So if Annabelle can get this backflip done correctly, she's gonna win the power of veto. And if she fails, then we will do a round again. My goodness. Come on, Annabelle. You've won veto once. She turned around. And she did it. Congratulations, Annabelle. You have won the power of veto. Nicely done. Okay. I thought that would go to at least three rounds, but whatever. So I'm going to get them all into the living room and we're going to do our veto ceremony quickly. And that will be the end of this episode. But I am curious to see if Annabelle will use it or not. So uh, let's go. Welcome to the veto ceremony. Annabelle has just won the power of veto, which means if she chooses to, she could use the power of veto on one of the nominees to save them for the week. Annabelle is thinking about what is going to further her in this game, and she has to start thinking about her alliance and who she's loyal to. So Annabelle has decided to use the power of veto on Annabelle has used the power of veto on Freddy, which means, Kayako, you now have to put up a replacement nominee. Kayako was really hoping that she wouldn't have to do this, but unfortunately... Pennywise, you have to be up on the block. She's really hoping that you were here at the end of eviction night, and with that, that is the end of our veto ceremony and that is the end of the episode thank you so much for sticking around if you liked what you saw and you made it this far in the video why don't you give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber already why don't you hit that subscribe button on my channel i release this series every sunday wednesday and friday and next episode, we are going to have our eviction ceremony and our next HOH. Who is going to be leaving the Big Brother game? Is it Pennywise or Ghostface? Ugh, this one's hard. This is hard. And I actually don't know who's going to go. So we will have to find out next episode. So thank you for all of your support, friends. And until next time, bye.